of the Not So Super Fan. So today we're going to do a review for um, the new HBO show Lovecraft Country. It's based off of the uh, H.P. Lovecraft novel. And um, this show so far, first episode is pretty good. Um, I've read some of Lovecraft's uh, book. Oh, I've um, dabbled in some of his uh, lore, the Call of the Chulu. I, I think I played that game, and I don't remember. It was a while back. Um, and I'm always looking into H.P. Lovecraft mythos, but I haven't looked much into his mythos. But this uh, this show, I know it's produced by uh, J.J. Abram, Jordan Pill, and Misha Green. And it follows the story of Atticus Freeman, who who's basically get he's a war veteran from a war veteran from the uh, Vietnamese War, who's back home now. He was living in Florida, and he goes back to Chicago because he got a letter from his dad. He's looking for his dad, and he's a when he goes to Chicago, he's accompanied by. Uh, I mean, when he goes back down south to go look for his dad, he's accompanied by his uncle, George, and, uh, uh, God damn it, uh, what's her name? Lydia, uh, played by Jury, June, Journey Smollett. <laughs> um, I say Smollett, it's Smollett, but it, it's, it's all Rashad G's fault because I was watching his review and he he had me saying smoothie smoothie yeah, the whole time. If you guys know that joke, go watch the, the Dave Chappelle special on Netflix. You'll understand. But this series, so like I said in the beginning, this series so far is pretty good. Um, and there's some subtle detail as far as where the um, the character in the beginning, you see that there's something about him in the first episode. You know, he's having a this weird dream that you know there's a war aliens and um, the monster that looked like the children actually, and Jackie Robinson shows up, and there's there's something with him from the beginning. You see that from his dream, and when. He, this episode is titled Sundown. You don't really you, it, you don't really get the gist of the title till later on in the episode when there's like a scene in the, where they're being told by a sheriff they have to be a certain area before sundown or they could be, he has every right to hang them. Um, and once that happens, that's really where it actually picks up at when, that, when that actual sundown scene happened with the sheriff and a bunch of other um, white officers and these monsters shows up and they start acting. I'm sorry if you're getting spoilers, but what this episode was what a couple of days ago, so Sunday, so you guys should cut up by now. But that's when the episode actually picks up. You see some like uh, HP's monster come to life. I hope we get to see more monsters because I never read this uh, novel as far as Love Country, but. I'm hoping uh, to see some of more of HP's monster come to life. Um, I do like HP Lovecraft stories, but I, I was never a big fan of him because he. I'm glad that uh, Jordan Peele is involved in this show because in he's producing it. He's part. Uh, he's part of the producing team because HP Lovecraft. Uh, he was. Uh, I don't. I don't yeah, he was pretty, he wasn't pretty uh, popular like, as far, I mean, black people wasn't, the way he described black people a certain time wasn't pretty, you know, <sighs> colorful, uh, you know, and I think he described us as beasts, you know, and stuff like that, so um, he kind of held, like, white people in the British community as in like in uniform in high regards, but as far as certain minorities like black people, Jewish people and uh, Irish, he didn't really held them in high regards. But his stories were great, but he had his issues like you know, like everybody else back in those days. But uh the story so far, first episode, HP Lovecraft, uh, Sundown is pretty good. Uh the main actor uh who plays uh Atticus Freeman, um, 
Jonathan Majors. I was looking at him. I think you know this guy. He could. I, uh, he should be cast in a Marvel movie like Adam Brashear, Bill Morrow. I see that. I see that happening. Or Justice League, Green Lantern. You know, uh, I I, I, I kind of thought that. You know, but uh, in the in the novel, I know his name is. Uh, it's it's not Atticus Freeman, it's Atticus Turner, but that don't matter. But in the show, once again, you know there's something about it. Because at the end of the episode, um, when they open the door, this guy greets them. He's like, welcome home, Atticus. And he's like, whoa, what the hell is going on? So I can't wait to see what happened in the next episode. Because it seems like it's going to be wild, you know. But what I want to see from this show is more monsters. Hopefully we get that. But And it seems like it's one of those things that Jordan Peele really love to do because if you ever watch this movie it's all weird and a bunch of stuff that mess with your mind so that, this this is pretty much um what i feel like we're gonna get from this show especially with a producer like jordan jordan pill but guys if you've watched um lovecraft country let me know what you think leave a comment down below and i will be getting back at you more views and reviews. <laughs>